Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe and I am here with a reading on what is going on with your family. What is the news on your family? What are they up to? What are they hiding from you? Anything that you want to know about your family at this time. Before I get started, I ask if you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload more videos, hit that like button and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. If you would like to donate to my channel, there's a link below to my PayPal um, and donate away. Please do. I greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, let's get started here. The first card I pulled is Keep the Faith. So your family is definitely keeping the faith in something. If it is in a situation that you're involved in, if it is in their situation, they are definitely trying to keep the faith, keep the faith that maybe hidden agendas, deceit, lies, betrayal, anything like that is going to come out and the world is going to know. Maybe they're trying to keep the faith that none of that comes out. Uh, it depends on which end of the family you're on or which end of your family they're on. Um, I feel more than anything, I feel that they are trying to keep their agendas hidden and they're trying to keep faith that nobody sees the truth of who they are and what they are. Material and spiritual prosperity. So they definitely are having material and spiritual prosperity. Maybe they are gaining uh, material wealth and maybe stepping into their spiritual prosperity because of a, a decision they made or because of the situation that is going on in your family. Uh, maybe they have worked hard and they're finally seeing their hard work pay off. Keep your temper. Do not allow anger to rule you. So your family is definitely, you know, keeping their, their tongues tied off, not speaking out what they're really wanting to speak out. Uh, they're trying to keep their temper if that's towards you or towards another person in your situation or a group of people, but they're really trying to keep their anger at this time. They're not wanting their temper to rule them in, in whatever situation you are um, having with your family. It doesn't have to be so much towards you. Maybe it's just towards a situation that involves you, but at this time, they're really trying to keep their temper under control. Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Ace of Wands is new venture or a way of life. Maybe someone in your family is pregnant or has given birth to a new child. Or it could be a new idea. But maybe your family is trying to work towards a new venture. Maybe they're wanting a new way of life. Uh, maybe they're wanting to go down more of an up on, you know, up and up type of uh, career or just in living in general. They're definitely wanting to go on a new adventure, trying to maybe make some wrongs right, maybe towards you, towards themselves, towards the situation. But right now they're looking at a new venture. I feel that somebody in your family is pregnant or did uh, give birth. And if that's the case, congratulations, because children are so beautiful. 10th house reputation. So they're definitely worried about their reputations. Uh, career, responsibilities, achievement, uh, fame, notary, standing, authority figures. Somebody in your family could be an authority figure. It could just be a, a father figure. Legacy, purpose, pinnacle, and empire. And it's a sign of Capricorn. So if you have a Capricorn father figure, he is worried about his reputation and his reputation only. Sounds like my father. Knight of Pinnacles, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn is a very loyal person. You can trust them. Maybe they haven't been in your life in a long time. Maybe they have. Um, but if you have anyone in your family that's a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, uh, they are going to be very loyal. Or they're wanting to be loyal to their own needs. Maybe to their own financial success. Maybe they're not including you into that. The outsider. See this child try looking in? Maybe you have been the outsider looking in on your family for a very long time. I do want to point out um, that this lock on this gate is not locked. So all this child has to do is reach over, take the lock off, take the chains off, and open the door. So maybe that's what you are in the process of doing with your family. Or maybe you have not noticed that quite yet. But I feel that you, ha you represent this child and they have kept you as an outsider for a very long time. For whatever reason, you know, it is. 
Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. So maybe they're making plans and trying to focus on what they are wanting to accomplish in their life at this time. Maybe you are trying to make plans to, and focus on your family. Maybe you are shielding them from something or they are shielding you from something that is going on. We have the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Nine of Swords represents sense of anxiety and despair, feelings of oppression. So they're feeling some type of despair, some anxiety. Maybe it's regarding you. Maybe it's regarding a situation that has been going on in your family for a very long time. But they're feeling a little bit oppressed at this time. Um, maybe they're trying to keep their faith and their temper when it comes to this situation. Maybe it's you. We have the Hierophant. So they are connected to the Hierophant. Uh, traditional values. This can represent um, any type of organization. Maybe they're in a cult. Maybe they're very religious and they're really wrapped around their religion, religious beliefs. But the Hierophant to me represents anything and everything that people are bound to. See these people bowing to this person? So I feel that your family is wrapped up in the Hierophant and, you know, tradition, family traditions. Um, any type of religious organizations, occult, um, government organizations, they are bowing down to whomever is representing this higher font. Maybe it's your family. Maybe your, one of your family members is the higher font. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So energy towards, I feel a truth coming out, maybe you stepping into the gate finally. Anything that is going to... Um, bring this situation to a head, uh, bring truths of maybe deceit, lies, anything that they have done wrong. I think that the energy is gaining momentum and I think that that is what is causing their sense of anxiety and despair and oppression. Leaving. So maybe someone in your family is planning on leaving. Maybe they're going to run away. Maybe they're going to run from the law if they're in trouble with the law. Maybe they're hoping that you'll leave. Um, I feel more on the sense that someone in your family is is going to be leaving or maybe you're all planning on leaving together but someone in this situation is going to pack up and leave I think feel like they're gonna run is what I keep hearing triumph so they're feeling like they have triumphed over something uh, maybe over you maybe over a situation maybe they have triumphed over a difficult um, long journey Maybe they feel like they have triumphed over this hair font. Maybe it's you that's triumphed over your family and they're not liking it too much. Somebody here has definitely triumphed and they're, you know, riding straight in to wave their flag, you know, to let the world know that they definitely triumphed over some situation that's been long, hard, and difficult. All in the golden more afternoon, inspiration, creative sparks, imagination, conception, this card is in reverse. So with that being said, they're not having very much inspiration towards you or towards anything in life. Uh, they don't have any creative spark. Their imagination is kind of closed off and they're really having a lot, hard time conceiving anything. Maybe it's just conceiving uh, which way they should go, conceiving relationships um, with themselves or with other people, but they're really blocked off. I feel that the higher power has them blocked at this moment. We have the Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Five of Wands represents conflicts, quarreling, competition. So there is definitely, you know, a lot of quarreling, a lot of conflicts that's going on, maybe between you and your family, maybe between one family and another family, maybe a family and a community. Uh, there is a lot of competition, so maybe your family's trying to compete against you. Uh, maybe you're trying to compete against your family. I do hear and I do feel that this competition has been going on for a very long time. Actually, since you were a child. And maybe you are just becoming aware of really what is happening in your family and what is causing this conflict and uh, quarreling. We have Neptune dreams, imagination, memories, the subconscious, self-sacrifice, ideals, universal love, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, Fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, veils, magic. And this is a sign of Pisces. 
So there's been a lot of things hidden behind veils. Um, there has been empathy, but a lot of fantasies. There's been a lot of escapism in your family. Um, ideals, imagination, memories, uh, dealing with the su subconscious, uh, a lot of self-sacrificing. So either you or someone in your family has definitely done all of that. We have the Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Reflection. So maybe they are reflecting on a relationship that they have with a water sign. Maybe the, this water sign is reflecting on the relationship that they've had with their family. Maybe it's because their family has never truly filled up any of their cups with true love or vice versa. But there's a lot of reflection going on in the relationship that you have with your family and how your family views you at this time. Perfection. So someone in this family thinks that everything has to look perfect, uh, seem perfect. Maybe they are perfectionists to where they dress, that their hair has to be perfect. But they want really the outer world to see this family as being perfect. And what I feel like um, it's the complete opposite. This family is beyond not perfect. What the people see on the outside isn't really what is going on on the inside, inside that door, beyond this gate. Rebirth. So there is definitely some rebirth going on in this situation. If that's rebirth of an idea, if that's rebirth of a family, uh, you know, togetherness, if it's rebirth of, you know, issues and stability and material items, it's just a rebirth. Someone in this situation or this entire family is going through a rebirth. If it's the entire family, that means that your family will come back healthier, happier, and, and have more of a bond and be able to be together without maybe having to show this world this perfection that doesn't exist. Or maybe it's you that's gone through a rebirth and you are cutting this family out of your life. Or your family cutting you out. Spring. See your seeds grow. So it's springtime now. So maybe uh, you or someone in your family has been planting seeds for a long time. Waiting for these seeds to grow. And now that spring is here. Now that we're seeing more rain and we're seeing a lot more moisture. We're seeing, you know, things start to bloom and, you know, start to grow. Maybe finally the seeds that your family has planted along with you or without you are starting to grow. Grow in a more positive, healthy way. Eight of Pentacles. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Eight of Pentacles is new job, money-making venture from existing talents. So maybe your family is in a family business and they're moving on to a new adventure. Maybe a more positive, maybe a more... Um, sustainable way of making a living. Maybe your family is being offered a job. Maybe in the fat past your family has done something illegal for a living and that has been, you know, brought to the surface and now they're having to move on to a new journey. Or they're seeing you in this light that you are definitely uh, making a new business form. Maybe you are being very productive. Maybe you're working very hard and your business is starting to take off. We have the moon card, sign of cancer. So your family has definitely a lot of secrets. There's a lot of betrayal. There's a lot of deception. There's a lot of thievery, lies, gossip, rumors, anything or in, that is not seen by the naked eye that is being hidden behind this moon that they're not wanting to see. Um, definitely. And if you are a cancer that has a wiener dog, this is definitely your message. Just so you know, or if you have two dogs. I think your family has really um, deceived you. I think that they've lied, they've betrayed you, they have um, done something that's against the law and the world is definitely seeing that. And I think that your family's having to make things right. Believe in the impossible, blue moon. So your family's trying to believe in the pot impossible. Maybe they're trying not to get caught for what they've done. Maybe they're still trying to hide their secrets or betrayals and all the bullshit that they've caused you and other people. Maybe they're just really trying to believe in the impossible and it's impossible that they're not going to be caught. Heavenly signs. So if you are here in your family, a lot of them are deceased. Your, your deceased family are sending you a lot of heavenly signs to let you know that they are with you. That is, if it, you see a butterfly or if you see a feather, pick that feather up or a penny or anything that, you know, comes from the heavens above, anything that's in out in wilderness, anything that is beautiful, a bird, 
a plant, a flower, a butterfly, a feather from a bird, anything like that. So they're wanting you to really watch for these heavenly signs. Financial and material changes. So I feel that your family is being hit with financial and material changes because of the lies and deceit and betrayal that they have caused this cancer. And because they have allowed this hair font to rule their life for far too long. Wake up. It's your moment. So maybe they're finally waking up to the fact that, you know, they were not very good to you in the past. Maybe they're not very good to people in general. But they're waking up to the fact that it's their moment to finally maybe make things right in a situation that has gone so wrong for so long. Maybe it's just trying to have healthier and better boundaries with your family members and you, with themselves. Maybe breaking free of any type of organization that has kept them bound to it. Maybe allowing their secrets, dark, dark, deep dark secrets to come out to the light even though they will be, you know, looked at badly or are viewed as not very healthy people. We have the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Four of Wands is stability, holidays, marriage plans. So maybe your family is going to come together in a more, you know, stable way. Maybe they're trying to create the stability for you or anyone else in your family. Maybe someone in your family is planning to get married and you're going to be invited to a wedding. But I feel that, you know, with all the deceit, lies, and, and corruption and all that that's been coming out in my readings so much lately, and it's been re revolved around your, your family, my family, family in general, that I think that they're really trying to make their secrets come out or they're too, they could be trying to hide them. I don't think they have a choice. I think that they know that they're caught. They know that they have to make wrongs right. Maybe they're trying to do that so they could have the stabil stability and you guys can now come back together and nobody will feel like an outsider anymore, even if it is causing them this financial and material changes. North Node, Destiny, Soul School, Learning Curve, Fulfillment, Purpose, Maturing, Experience, Fruition, North Star, Process, Development, Practice, Path, Beckon, Blossoming, Becoming, Integrity, Journey. And this is a sign of no one. So it's just destined for this family to, to definitely become more healthier, uh, maybe come back together and have a more successful, uh, st stable life together. We have moon fillings, instinct, nurturing, gut reactions, comfort, digestion, home, family, conditioning, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment, emotions, Self-soothing moods, mother, and this is a sign of cancer. So cancer is very strong in this reading. Seven of wands, or yep, seven of wands, endurance. Seven, or the wands represent Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this is like defending position, uh, overcoming obstacles. So I feel that there are a lot of people in your family that are having to defend their position. What made them make the decisions that they made? Why did they deceive, lie, betray, steal, or whatever they've done to you or someone else in your family? But at this time, they're facing a lot of obstacles from the decisions that they've made in their past. Recovery. So they're trying to recover from a very difficult, long situation. I feel that the only thing is, is that your family has uh, created this difficult situation and they're now trying to recover from it. If it's financially, if it's emotionally, physically, um, they're definitely trying to recover from whatever has gone on here. Trickery. So there's been a lot of trickery. Like I said, there's been a lot of lies, deception, uh, uh, illusions created. I think that there's been like thievery. I think people have been keeping people's inheritances. They have been trying to trick the outside world to believe that this family is perfect and the outside world knows far from that, that this family is far from perfect. They have been tricking you, they have been tricking everyone that's been in their life to believe something that wasn't true and that's why the moon card is out. I think it is regarding a cancer and I think that that cancer could be you. If it's not you, then it's someone that is close to you or, or someone that's um, in your family that, and you'll know that who that, who that is. You don't have to be a cancer, but I feel like it is a cancer. They've been projecting lies and rumors and gossip out into the world. I think they've been projecting um, 
this falseness of perfection in your family that was covering up this trickery against this cancer and whatever they were tied to, whatever organization, whatever religious beliefs, whatever they are tied to. Shapeshifters, transform and unveil your gifts. I feel like a lot of your family are involved in shape-shifting. If you don't believe in shape-shifting, you don't have to listen to this part. I do very much so. I have actually seen my family members shape-shift into things that are unbelievable. Um, I didn't believe it at first. I didn't even know what the hell a shape-shifter was until one of my friends told me exactly what it was. And then I researched it, of course, because I research everything that I talk about. And I feel that uh, people have really... Um, sold their, their souls to the devil to have material wealth, to have whatever they are desiring. I think that they have been brainwashed by this hierophant to, to bow down and, and give themselves to this person. And it has created any type and every type of like shape-shifting, anything that is like beyond illusions, beyond belief, anything like that. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This uh, queen is a woman of worth, capable, and practical. So this could stand for someone in your family. This could stand for maybe your mother, your sister, or this could be you. So this woman definitely knows her worth. Maybe your family realizes maybe this is you, and they know that they can no longer deceive you, lie to you, steal from you, and that you, they no longer can hurt you. We have the Fool card. Now the Fool card represents uh, Pisces and Aquarius to me. It's unexpected opportunities, major choices. So maybe your family is being um, given some unexpected choices. Maybe it's because they have been deceiving everyone with this trickery. Uh, I think that they might be trying to make things better, might be trying to, to make their wrongs right so then they're able to move forward in their life. The last card I pulled is it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. So a Scorpio could be provident in this reading. But it is time to release the negative aspects of your family, the negative ways of thinking, the negative ways they've treated you or anyone else, the lies, the deception, the trickery, anything like that. I think that your family is finally in the stage where they're ready to release that negativity and bring positivity back into their life, back into their family's life, and in towards every relationship that they have from this point on. With that being said, that is what is going on with your family. Um, it's definitely been quite a journey for you, I believe. Um, I think it's been a, quite a journey for your family. We need to remember that forgiveness is very important to each and every one of our lives. If you cannot forgive a person for what they've done to you, um, do it for yourself so you're no longer carrying those burdens. With that being said, I am sending so many positive vibes, um, tons of love, Lots of healing and peace to each and every one of you. Again, sorry about my lighting. The lighting in this room is terrible, but I still want to keep my readings going. There's been a lot of downloads coming to me the last couple of days. I think that's why I've been on this journey that I'm on um, right now. So I can provide a lot of um, perspective, you know, perspective points, um, let you know kind of what is happening and really where you're heading on your journey and what is going to happen in the end. So lots of love to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Again, if you would like to donate, I'd greatly appreciate that. Lots of love. Peace.